Hello kings, queens, nerds, and geeks. If you want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notification button. And now, enjoy the video. Hello, everyone. Um, today, um, I can't- I have recently learned this particular woman is on the side- yes, I'm on the side of the dog hater of recent videos. Now guys, I'm pretty sure you guys know of the dog hater that insulted and gave death threats to my pregnant wife, which also in turn gave pre- death threats to my daughter Sophie, so yeah, thank you, you asshole, by the way. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not rebuttaling that, he is a fucking asshole. Now, but here's this woman, she is on his side. Mind this woman has children herself, and she's defending a guy who's threatening a, wo a pregnant woman. Think about that for a moment here. But she's also one of the many dog haters. She's also subscribe. He's the dog hater subscribed to her. Um, her name is Melina Jacuse, I think. Jacuse, uh, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. For now, I'm just gonna call you Melina. Um, but I'm gonna be uh, in this particular video. She doesn't state anything about that. Uh, but I will be when I did watch this video though. I just have an angerism. My god, I have an aneurysm. So, hold on here. So, we're going to start this off, and we're going to start the video. So, uh, I will, and plus, I will be giving my views and comment views on it, and my, yeah, you know that, you know the drip, right? Hi, people. I'm just making a quick video to let you all know that I'm going to be disabling the comments on my channel, because I have been... Yes, because you're tired of hate. Hate, and, well, I'm pretty sure that your so-called hate comments aren't exactly hate comments. I'm pretty sure it's constructive criticism that you don't seem to understand. But I don't think any of you dog haters get that. I've been receiving so much hate that uh, I'm done. I realize I don't need this in my life. I understand ad hominem attacks. I know where they come from. I know it's because people don't have an argument to stand on, so they resort to name-calling and so forth, but... Um. You okay? Yeah, but here's this: you're also supporting a guy who's giving death threats to my wife. But you're you're very negative towards the point of people sending hate towards you. Yes, it is wrong for people to insult you at first. I'm pretty sure there are a few people out there. I'm not going to deny that. Honestly, though, I can't see any fucking comments as you can see. Hold on. There's no fucking comments. Right here. Yeah. So, yeah. So, and you go back up. But, on another note here. You shouldn't be afraid of hate. Honestly, I encourage people to give me constructive criticism. If I'm wrong on something, I want someone to tell me. I want someone to tell me. I don't mind people giving me hate. Just do it. I don't care. I'm not afraid to see those comments. So here we go. Um, I, you know, I'm receiving such a large number of hateful messages, comments, um, that I really don't need this in my life. And I'm realizing that um, I'm going to be, it's time for me to take a break. And I need more of a balance in my life. And I really don't need all this hate in my life. I just want to say a few things before I uh, disable the comments. Yeah, you know that there were some people that said some some good things and you know um what the fu what your uh, 232 pe people that you that subscribe to you who apparently are don't understand the co concept of do dogs and why we love of dogs so um I'm pretty sure those 232 people who subscribe to you are just as dumb as you are Cause, no 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 here's this I'm saying dumb no, 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 not dumb. Wrong choice of words. Ignorant. You are ignorant because you don't understand. You're taking in what I'm pretty. I'm. I'm wondering what caused you to hate dogs. Now, here's this, guys. I'm saying she's ignorant based on what she's about to say because I have watched the video beforehand. So here we go. There were some things written there that I'm kind of sad to take away because I, I expressed myself in the comments. One of the things that I was explaining in the comments was. Um, how I am not going to separate veganism from uh, the dog wait, issue. Wait, 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 Those wait, wait. are two controversial subjects, but they are... Wait, 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 wait. So, so, okay, here's this. Now, understand this woman is about veganism. Veganism. 
Okay? Now think about that for a moment. She's about veganism. And she doesn't want harm to animals. Now she's going to say that in a few minutes. Now I want you to think about that for a moment. We're very much linked uh, because what all I was trying to do was draw attention to the hypocrisy. Culling dogs is inhumane. Will and do they happily go and support us, which is completely unnecessary. You do understand that Americans need to eat, right? Like, yes, we don't necessarily need to eat meat. It's a luxury we have. And here's this. There's nothing you could really do to stop it because we eat meat. Yes, there are more humane ways to have meat. But here's this. You can't stop people from liking meat because that's what we like. We like meat. We are omnivores. We can eat both plants and animals. Bears... That's like saying bears don't have to eat fish. They do it anyway because it's the way they get food. We do it. This this is the way we do things. What about the people in, like in Africa? Like they don't they don't all have food. If they're given a piece of meat, they're gonna have to eat that because that's the only thing they have. Based on that, based on the logic, yes, your logic, yes. I could go for days on the veganism. I'm not a vegan, um, but and I do like vegan food. I'll be honest, I do like some vegan food. Like, uh, I've tried some, like, the vegan substitute meats, but, but, and they're not that, some of them are not that bad, but, um, the point is, we like meat. This is a luxury thing, and if we want to pay for that, that's our, our, our choice, and you can't exactly stop that, because this is the way we do things. There's a large market of meat, and meat is needed, and that's the reason why we're at the point where we need to have a massive massive production of animals and massive killing them because we demand so much. That's uh, us as America. That's mostly America, I believe. Uh, that's America's kind of thing, I believe. I don't know how you other countries do it. I don't know what you guys do, but this is how we do things. And um, actually, I'm just kind of rambling here. I should stop right there. I should stop on the veganism. I should get on the actual point. And therefore senseless because humans don't need to do this do however is keep our children safe like any other animal in the animal kingdom if there's a threat to their offspring they eliminate that threat they either haul their ass away from okay 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 so let me get this straight you support the you support the animals but if they're in your way you can kill them all you want. I don't care. Uh, they're a threat to you. You kill them. That's... I don't know how to feel about that. Because, because you believe... I know you believe... That dogs are a threat. Although, here's this. I'm going to tell you now. That I have a pit bull... Named Delilah. She's the most lovable thing that I've ever seen out of a pit bull. And I would trust her to be around my baby when she's born, and I'd trust you. So, just say That animal, and, get, and put space in between themselves and that threat, or they, they destroy the threat, they kill it. Human beings are the only animals that I am aware of who gladly take the predator their very existence we are talking about disease that's because we've learned to coexist with wol wolves it's been done that since the beginning of time and we've learned to do this because we had a common goal that's the reason why in the olden times wolves and humans w would work together to hunt in the end they would both eat one would track the dog would help track it down and the human would kill it. Therefore, uh, they, with that common goal, the wolf and the human would both get to eat. And that's why. Now, and here's this. Through, the, through over time, we learn to train dogs, breed dogs to do different things. Nowadays, we have dogs trained to be guard dogs. Dogs trained to be bomb-sniffing dogs. Dogs trained to help the blind. Dogs to help to <clears throat> uh, catch bad guys eyes, both in the police and in the military. 
Um, we also have the uh, mental support dogs, and over time, dogs slowly began to be more lovable and more compassionate with humans. We began to know, understand that dogs have an empathy, have have empathy with humans. I'm pretty sure you don't agree with that. Now, here's this. Also, uh, you also say disease carrying, right? You do understand that cats carry a diseases and don't give a crap, right? And t they also, cats also will carry diseases. And cats are also a predator. Now, and they can still harm a baby, for example. They can, if they wanted to. Now, another step, another point, that there are also people carrying falcons in their homes. They have falcon. You can have a pet falcon, and that's a thing. And that doesn't stop them from... And that's a predator that could possibly take their baby away, say that much. And that's... Then no one, you don't see anything about that. Let's see, barn animals, for example, people do keep animals other, for other than, you know, killing, you know. They do keep horses, you know. Oh, they also keep... Um, they also keep uh, cows, you know, for milking. I'm pretty sure against that, though. Because we, you know, we like to have milk. And guess what? All these animals will carry diseases. And they can transfer to humans. Now, here's this. Most of the, uh, most of the diseases that can be transferred from dog to humans is usually transferred through the bugs or ticks or li lice, fleas, whatever, coming off the dog and transferred to humans. Now, a lot of animals provide this. That's saying a lot here. So, I'm, uh, so based on your logic, you should ban all animals then, shouldn't we? Based on your logic. Children. And uh, no, they don't. Here's this. My wife had mentioned this in the previous video, that a dog had attacked her. Yes, a dog attacked her, and I'm saying this now, only because she provoked the dog. Because she didn't know any better. She was a young kid. Now, here's this. She still loves dogs. She owns dogs back in Arizona. And she loves them to death. I own a pit. I have a pit bull named Delilah, and she is the best thing that's ever... Ha one of the best things that's ever ha happened in my life. Um, trust me. I don't think you understand dogs to the fullest. I don't think you've ever owned a dog, and I think you, whatever dog bit you or whatever, and you just decided to hate all dogs. I don't know where you get this information from. Um, I think she mentioned something about a link. Hold on. And people commenting like, well, yeah, we support the culling of rats because rats transmit disease. Like, guess what? So do dogs. And there I had to provide a link with, uh, you know, diseases that are transmitted from dogs to humans, somehow people don't think dogs do, like, transmit disease, they do, they are filthy. And I just am tired of the ignorant comments, I'm so weary of arguing with it, people who are so ignorant and do not take the time to do their own research, and are asking me for my sources, like, just do your own research, go- But that's your job as an informer, right? Like, if I started to inform you, hey, let's say, uh, about bronies, or if I wanted to inform you about my little pony, I will give credible sources. That's what I do. That's what I would do as an informer. See, I can't just start talking out my ass. I have to give facts and have proof. Like, I could, I could bet you right now that I could give you tons of proof that animals are not, not going to do it. Are not. Are, uh, are not the only things that, you know... Give off diseases. So hold on. Let me go to this. Uh, common animals that give off diseases. Hold on here. I'm. Okay. Uh... Okay. So here's this. I'm gonna move my little frame here. Uh, here we go. Diseases from animals. Okay, here's this. Um, some are from bunnies. Uh, this. Oh wait, hold on here. Um, I'm gonna pause real quick. Okay, I'm gonna move my camera here for a minute. Okay, so uh, some uh, 
Some come from giant Gambian rats and fuzzy bunnies. They come from puppies and pythons. See, there's not just that. When an animal is friend or food or foe, it can carry diseases. And now he here's this. This is from WebMD, guys. This is usually some. This is from Web WebMD. So I'm just saying that now. Um, I'm not sure if it's a total credible source, but I'm trying. It's at least a source. It was the first thing on fucking Google. So. So, there are 39 important diseases people should catch directly from animals, and at least 48 important diseases people get from bites of bugs that bite infected animals. See my point? That's, see, that's not the only thing. There are 42 diff important diseases that people can inge be ingested in handling food, water, or contaminated with animal feces. Um, so, there's rabies. Yes, rabies are, I guess, a no one of the known diseases that can be transferred through bites. Yeah, but that's yeah, but you and rabies d is is usually causes them to be violent. That's the point of its virus. Now the bubonic plague though was different, and that was usually transferred through rats. Food poisoning is usually done when when uh, you eat food that's been spoiled, been contaminated, and not cooked or not cooked properly, which I have experienced before. Other hairs have recently emerged, like monkeypox, West Nile, oh, the West Nile virus. Uh, and a uh, bird flu, whatever. I'm, I'm just going on here. People uh, well, have lived with animals for eons. The reason, there's a reason for that. They don't just make us feel better. They actually contribute to our health. People who keep, eat pet animals tend to have a lower cholesterol levels and lower blood pressure. They tend to have more exercise and feel less lonely. See, my point is not, but as I said, it also, it does mention that dogs aren't the only ones that provide diseases. Bunnies, people keep bunnies as pets. So what? Uh, so you should basically stay on, on your logic. Ban bunnies, right? Uh, and and bunnies can carry rabies. They can uh, then, uh, of course, attack because animals, when they have rabies, they tend to become more violent. Let's see. Um, I'm tr I'm trying to find more a animals. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's just try to find another article to prove my point here. Um. Oh, wait, it wasn't the first one, it was the second one, but okay. 13 animals to human diseases kill 22% of humans each year. Oh, look, here's a pig. Another example of animals that transfer diseases. Okay. See, here's uh, one that is transferred through livestock, such as pigs, chickens, cattle, goat, oats, sheep, and camels. Um, which is called, what is it, emerging, let's see, a zoonotic, uh, whatever it is. Um, it's usually transferred through livestock, whatever. Uh, let's see, uh, that's not a good one. Let's see. Small mammals. Seven diseases animals share with humans. Uh, wait. Um, let's see, uh, okay. Uh, pet pets that carry diseases. Okay, that's not it. I just, I said ones that don't. Here's this. Infections that pets can carry. How pets spread infections. Uh, let's see. Yeah, even dogs and cats are the most popular pets that can carry infections, such as uh, um, uh, by, uh I can't pronounce that infection. Something infection that can spread by the household pets carrying, uh, whatever that is, which is a uh. Let's see, um, I'm not going to go on to the symptoms. There's cat scratch disease, rabies, of course, um, Ro Rocky Mountain spotted fever, ringworm, to ox, I can't pronounce that, and or that. Uh, birds even carry diseases. Let's see, there's reptiles and amphibians that carry diseases, uh, other animals, s hamsters and gerbils and fish will carry these diseases. Here... But see, see, my point is, you're saying dogs carry diseases, but you don't seem to understand that not just dogs carry diseases. You're only you're only saying dogs carry diseases, and that's all you're saying. My dog. If you don't believe me, check. Well, yeah, but think about how, how many. Uh, that's also you also got to think about all the other animal attacks. You do understand? Oh yeah. Let's just see. Uh, okay, let's look this up here. Um. Okay, we're gonna look this up now. How what animal kills the most? Well, kills the most. 
Here we go. This is actually a site me and my wife looked up. So, mosquitoes are top of the list. And then it goes by snakes. Then dogs. Yes, dogs. And then uh, a, some kind of fly. Then it goes crocodiles. Then hippopotamus. See, it doesn't just mention dogs. But dogs are usually involved in 90% of rabies infections. And rabies aren't that... Let's see, and... Uh, and about 36% of the world's deaths are rabies deaths, but according to this article. Now, see, it's, but here's this. Mosquitoes, um, they give off malaria and usually 20 million are infected. They are the most deadly one. So, so you're, so here's this. You can't ban mosquitoes, so here's that. You can't ban crocodiles, because people hunt them all the time, so they can have some crocodile meat, sell their skins and stuff like that, because there is a crocodile hunting season. Now, but here's this. There are zoos that have crocodiles. What the fuck are you going to do about it? What about the other animals? Hmm? Hold on, one of them was on here. Uh, there's a, snakes. People keep snakes as pets. And Pete, for my sister, for example, will keep a snake as a pet. And she would probably let her kids play with it if, if she wanted to. So, you're going to ban snakes too? Okay. So many websites out there that you can read. I have collected my information from a variety of sources because I take the time to read. And, you know, it's not inhumane to protect our children. You're, you're, yeah, you're right. It's not inhumane to protect our children. That's something I can give you there. Yes, there are dogs that are vicious. I'm not saying that there's no dogs that are not vicious. I'm just saying that your facts here, you're not giving. I was reading this article about these packs of dogs that are um, a huge problem in northern Canada on the First Nations reservations. They are going around harassing, attacking, killing people on a regular basis and to, to keep the numbers down, and rightly so. Uh, and now, what you have, which is just making me, it, it's doing a number on my mental health, it's making me sick, is you got these groups of animal rights activists who are opposing these calls, calling them inhumane. That's because it is. Here's this, I, I, here's this, I know the animal rights thing, but here's this. It is inhumane to do certain things, but there's nothing more we can do about this in other countries. There are animal rights. What can we do about it? There's nothing we can do. We say, um, we're in America here. We can stop laws for abusive dogs. But in... And here's this. You want to stop the inhumane acts from cattle, for example. But you don't want to stop it from dogs. Am I right? That's, if it were rats doing this, if it were any other animal in our communities doing this, we wouldn't be calling any call inhumans. We're not brainwashed. We understand that dogs have a human connection. We all care about dogs. That's something we have a common goal. That's a majority here. I'm just so done. I'm so done. I do not want to be associated with the word vegan. If being a vegan means to, to sit back and do nothing while dogs roam communities, attack... Well, yeah. Now here's this. Vegans don't want to harm do harm animals. That includes dogs. So I guess you're not really a vegan, I guess, right? Well, technically a vegan is not necessarily you're not going to harm an animal. Vegan actually means that you're just not going to eat or drink anything that comes from an animal. That's basically what vegan means. If you're going to live by that lifestyle, then you stick to that. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to tell people that you don't have to eat meat. That's basically what veganism is. That no one seems to understand that. You need to keep your business to yourself and let other people do their own thing. That's our rights as human beings. And because you don't like dogs, you should keep that to yourself. I think it is crazy to put the value of a dog's life on the same level as a human life. Because we are humans. We yes. You want to know why we do that? You want to know why? Because we put ourselves 
owes to them. We we understand that they're a living thing, and we have emotional connection to them, just like we have a child. A lot of humans will call their dog a, their baby because they feel like they are family. That's why we put them on the same level, because we developed a friend, a companion when we are lonely. That is why. Because you can't get it through your thick skull. Why? What? So I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm going to guess you don't have any pets whatsoever. I'm going to guess you don't have any pets because I don't think you can actually feel human to uh, treat them as a human being. I don't treat my dog as a human being, although I won't call it my baby. I consider Delilah a friend. And that's what I. I consider Delilah one of my best friends because that. That is the connection I have with Delilah. We have a civilization we're trying to uphold, and dogs are not going to uphold it after we die. It's children who are going to uphold it. So we should be invest- Wait, wait, wait. You do realize that that has nothing to do with it, right? Not into shit-eating dogs who are still going to be licking their asses and eating shit after you die. They're not going to be doing anything. They don't have the intelligence as a, a, the same. They're not on the same level at all. I am just repeating myself here. Uh okay, yes, you are repeating yourself. You have a few times. Now, here's this. We're not wasting our time with dogs. We are giving them our time. Because their time isn't wasted. And here's this. We do know that we do have children that will take our place. For example, I know my daughter will always be there, and she will be taking my place at one point in time, or her mother's place, um, at, in the role of continuing on and giving her children if she has children. And But the dog has nothing to do with growing their legacy. A dog is a companion, and that is why. There are dogs out there that do a service to our community, and you don't understand that. You don't even make acknowledge it in this video, in fact. You don't acknowledge that fact that there are dogs contributing to our community as police dogs military attack dogs we also have we also have the bomb sniffing dogs in airports and the ones that help the bl guide the blind we also have the ones ones that help the ones with mental illness you guys want to go and argue you're not going to be doing it on my channel because i'm closing the comments and I well i don't have to be on your channel i'm right here making this video i just want to let you know all about it I'm going to be my guitar, my art, my perfume oils, my husband, exercise, plant-based cooking, living healthy, feeling good, and I don't need all of your negativity. Then you shouldn't give it. If you don't want negativity, don't give it. You are already crazy because you don't seem to understand when people are actually giving you criticism. To keep dangerous animals in their home, disfiguring their children by the thousands, tens of thousands every year. This is madness. But, I but again, two, uh, mosquitoes are killing by the millions. And thanks for watching. Peace out. And I'm out of here.